of that, right? He would like to get to know you. Eventually. He doesn't know. I even exist. For all he knows, his mother died. A long time ago. Yeah, maybe she did. You can't do that to the boy! I can't do that. Goldie already did. You still have time to write that mistake! Hold on. You just told me he might die soon. Or eventually. In time, if certain events don't pan out the way they're supposed to, because of the interference of the Stitch Wraith, then you know as well as I do that a certain future will occur. You'll be a repeat of yours and... <sighs> you know that this particular universe, this dimension, is a pillar, right? You told me. When I said I didn't want to do this anymore, I didn't ask for this, you just told me to leave. That was before he was born. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have just dropped him off at your house. I regret it. I know you do. I regret it a lot. We can't change the past. Well, I know we can, but there are events that need to happen and... Sadly, I guess that was one of them. We're not gonna Spider-Verse this, are we? Unfortunately, that movie had more right than wrong with it. Mm. Only difference is... We are alone. We don't have an entire network to help us. Why not? What's, what's stopping us from doing that? The fear of power. We don't know what other versions of me, you, or anyone else who's supposed to be in our position is like. What if there was a world where I actually did what you asked and became a tyrant? That's what you're already questioning whether or not you should do it. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be a tyrant. You'd be better than that. Would I? At one point, when you left, I was angry. I was upset. I questioned. I questioned breaking my own rules just to find you. I saw I was about to embark on a dark path. So... I had to stop myself. I had to step back. I had to... I had to face reality. I cannot force you to make any type of decision. Hey. You. I still don't get you. Well? I don't get how you can just sit there and watch everything happen and not step in and, and write it. I want to! You know, as well as I do, I once tried to. I tried to stop both the wars. I may be the most powerful being here, but I'm also the most helpless. I am cursed to be an observer. If I ever step out of that role, I'll disrupt the flow. I'll disrupt the flow of magic. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Really? Yes. Magic is instrumental to this world's core. I'm getting by without it. For quite a long time. I thought so too. But then they appeared. You know that humans always had a a small affinity for magic. They always needed tools to bring it out, but they always had a small affinity for it. But when animatronics were introduced, when I was introduced, the core of the world changed. More and more individuals are being born with talents, with skills. Soon one day, one out of five people could be born with magic and not know what to do with it. You don't see a problem with that? I do. But it's also what the world chooses to be. If I were to interfere with that, disaster would... would only come from it. I've seen that future. I've become a monster. At least the world's still alive. If you can call it that, the world is in ruins. Natural disasters. Earthquakes. Tsunamis. The world is alive, yes, but it's also not. Can I just find somewhere else to live then? Just hope to God that they all figure it out. 
You shouldn't run away from your problems. You shouldn't run away from the people who actually listen to you. You know why I ran away. I know. And tell me, from the day I met you, what did you tell me? What is it that you always told me? You told me that you regret it. You should have stayed. You felt that you could have done something. I only just learned what I could do. I couldn't have stopped that. It was doomed from the start. Maybe, but do you want to make the same mistake twice? Especially when you know you have family here now. Me interfering. That's some kind of cosmic imbalance, is it not? I don't belong here. I never did. And that's why you're the most important piece. When you gave up your power to me, you became the outlier. You're able to interfere in events I cannot. You're able to change people's hearts and minds. I can't do that anymore. Not in the position I'm in. Everyone I try and talk to just ignores me. Then make them listen. You made me. You're asking me to be a tyrant? No. Make them listen? How? Give me one good way to do that and I'll do it. Become their friend. I've tried talking to Become them. someone close to them. And I did that. You did? You stopped certain events from happening. Does my feel like that? The Stitch Wraith was meant to do worse by what I saw. You stopped the Stitch Wraith from ending Foxy. Not stopped yet. He still hates him. I know he does. Foxy is the entire reason this happened in the first place. And maybe Foxy's the only one that can stop it. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sent him there that, that, that day to meet Mossy in that bar. Maybe I shouldn't have sent him there to, to get beat up and lose all his memories and be who he is now. You know! You knew! He needed for that to happen. I knew he couldn't survive with a Mossy that was evil. And a Foxy who was still doing nefarious deeds and helping people behind the scenes. You know that they both have great- He's not living a- he's not living a life that's- That was supposed to be his, I know! He's not doing well either. You know that, right? I can see it. At all times. He's beyond lost. Then maybe you need to be a guiding light. And yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Goldie. I don't know. There's a second one, you know? No. Yeah. A second kid. Not mine. No. One I took in. You know who my brother was and what he tried to do. So what, Glamrock Freddy? Yes. He would have liked... Mm -hmm. It would have been... He would have liked to get to know you too. Please don't tell me he can do magic as well. No. Well... Please don't tell me he can do it too. No. He, he was like his father. He can't do positive magic. He can do negative? He was born... Like his father, to be able to contain it and manipulate it. He doesn't generate it, but he's more like a container. He's a container. Who else knows about that? Only me. For the moment. He's in danger. Why do you think I have to keep an eye on him? He's, he's in danger. His father already tried to steal his body for that purpose. You realize... The creator is trying to harness that. That's why Citrate exists in the first place. He does that. That's why he must never learn of that. Not only the creator, but other individuals that we would n that would give us trouble across the world would love to know what what he can become. How are we gonna deal with them? The same yes. way. The same way we always have. One step at a time. Get the right people to do the right things. Stop certain events, but also don't become the creators. You didn't teach me all this just to have me give it up to you, right? No. There was one future I saw. One where we were happy. You were standing right next to me. But that was one future <laughs> I couldn't make happen. A long time ago. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. I, um... If... If anything, I could tell you. He would like to know you. Because if he ends without ever knowing you... I kind of freaked him out when I visited the first time, so... Please! Look at me! <laughs> Whenever I anyone visits here, I freak them the hell out! <laughs> mm. If certain events happen, and he ends never knowing... The only person with regret would be you.
Mm, give me a sec. This is really making me... So... Now what? I don't know. You came to yell at me for not interfering enough. But now you see what I've been dealing with. Oh, I'm still mad at you for that. To be fair... At all, at all of it, really. I know. But... I've just been happy. I could just be happy. But you know that if you're happy, that someone else would be suffering. You know, for that, I kind of hate you. I only made you aware of what you wanted to be aware of. Everything else was of your own creation. All right, Freddy. All right. You know what you have to do, right? Yeah, I'll think about it. Or I might just, you know, find somewhere else to go. Whatever you choose. I hope you don't come to regret it like you did before. Yeah, me either. See you around, Goldie. Goodbye, puppet. If only they could see what I see. The futures. I'm trying my best, but... Something I learned a long time ago. Sometimes... Your best... Still... Isn't enough.